guys, good morning. Today's vlog is about the history of Piazza Repubblica. Piazza Repubblica is accessible by buses or metro. So guys, we just arrived at Piazza Repubblica. Rome's historical transformation never fails to impress all who visit the Italian capital. It is easy to imagine ourselves walking through the ancient galleries, stadiums and temples, strolling along cobbled streets, dressed in a toga, or watching a gladiatorial fight to death. The jewel in modern Rome's crown is its architectural heritage, something which is impossible to fully appreciate without first learning something of the city's long and intense history. To really understand what Piazza della Repubblica means to the Romans, we have to go back to the 3rd century and the 50-year economic, political, and social crisis that resulted in Emperor Diocletian's rise to power. Diocletian wanted to boost the empire's strength and also began a construction program throughout the capital that included the Baths of Diocletian, the largest public baths in ancient Rome. Inside, they were clad with marble and mosaics, were equipped with changing rooms, theaters, gardens, and various pools with hot, warm, and cold water. Diocletian abdicated after the works were completed in the year 305. He was accused of murdering thousands of Christians who were condemned to hard labor building the vats. After more than a hundred years of use, a cut in the water supply by the barbarians plunged the vats into a millennium of ruin. Pope Pius IV decided to raise the Basilica of Santa Maria degli Angeli e dei Martiri at the site, in memory of the Christians who died there. Diocletian's baths had an exedra or outer semicircular area with seats that functioned as a gathering place. City restructuring and improvement of works following the unification of Italy in 1871 resulted in a commemorative piazza being built on the ancient exedra to celebrate the new republic. Hence, Piazza della Repubblica is also known as Piazza del Esedra.
The piazza is part of huge roundabout and has cobbled streets, a fountain in the center and impressive buildings around the edges. The long and wide avenue called Via Nazionale leaves the piazza and connects the area around Rome's main train station with the historical center lined along the way with plenty of shops, cafes and restaurants, as well as the Repubblica metro station, making it an important artery through the city. The four original lions were replaced in 1901 by four naiads or four nymphs. The four nymphs were um, the naiad of the lake, the naiad of the river, the naiad of the ocean, and the naiad of groundwater. The naked figures of the naiads shocked the romance of the time, though efforts to remove the fountain from the piazza were made in vain. Some even wanted to erect a new sculpture in the center of the fountain. The first option was a depiction of three humans, a dolphin and an octopus in battle. The citizens of Rome didn't understand the confusing piece and it was eventually moved to the gardens of Piazza Vittorio Emanuele II and replaced with a sculpture of Glauco, a sea god in Greek mythology, embracing a fish symbolizing the triumph of humanity over nature. Among the buildings of note around the piazza is the Basilica of Santa Maria degli Angeli e dei Martiri, or Saint Mary of the Angels and the Martyrs. What seems like a ruin from the outside is spectacularly intact once through the doors. It has frescoes and different colored marble columns, and it's the only Renaissance church in all of Rome. Entrance is free also. At the same site, you'll find the beds of Diocletian, which in their day had a capacity of 3,000 people. The ancient beds are now one of the headquarters of the National Roman Museum.
would like to take this opportunity to shout out some names, namely Jamzi, Mrs. Jamzi, Tipa, Lucy, Reese, Adorable Duck, Owen, and Bernsey. Special thanks to Mike Smith and Jamzi for the super chats and the never ending support. Thank you. Mega love shout out also to Team Legit Friends. Thank you guys. Mega love shout out also to my sister Raimi B from the Netherlands and her family for the super chats and the never ending support. Thank you guys. We love ya.
added the Marcello experiences for the script that I have read and narrated. And here are some remains of a residential building from the Imperial Age. In this period, in the whole area of Piazza Repubblica, there were buildings that were expropriated and destroyed for the construction of the thermal bath of the Diocletian. Please click like, subscribe and the bell button to get notified. Bye, Bye guys! guys.